Chris Accessor is back behind them. David's lad standing well back. It's essential that you get a good position. Very, very hard to come from uh, way, way off the pace. It has been done, of course. And this race, the world's biggest steeplechase, the most demanding there is. 30 fences ahead of them, four and a half miles, and away they go. They're off and running in the Martel Cognac Grand National and uh, Alexander Bagwood down near the inside from Hedgehunter, his stable mate. They're up there early from Mondi's Pass and further back in the field then is Wonder Weasel from Josh Naylor. Back in the field too is Puntel in the early stages from Bounce Back. Out wider then is Al Capone as they go over the valley road. We join Ian Bartlett. So down to the first of the 30 fences. Akarus is up there with Luz Kadu and Alexander Banquet. And at the first fence, Arctic Jack is a faller. Kalami was brought down by the fall of Luzkadu at the tail of the field as well. And so it's three of them Arctic Jack, Luzkadu, and Kalami down at the first as they come over. Fence number the two. Now the open ditch number three. Alexander Banquet, Gunnar Balban, Puntal from Al Capone. Then comes Edge under Montes Pass. Bounce back and Agris as they come over from Justin Dead. We lose one there. Shardam is down and seats the rider. And he's the only to one to go at fence number three as they quickly come down to the fourth with Alexander Banquet on the inside with Bounce Back, Hedgehunter at the centre and Al Capone, the first couple of leaders over that blowing wind of Bramble Hill Duke behind those as we join Tony O'Han. They're racing down now towards the fence before Beaches and uh, in the centre Al Capone right there towards the inside, Hedgehunter and Gunnar Wellburn and behind these is uh, Alexander Banquet, Bramble Hill Duke is out wide, Pontal is also handy with Acarus and also uh, we can also say that uh, Jurison was a fall or a couple of fences back as they come to jump uh, features now and the leaders hedgehunter and on the inside there uh, we've lost a bounce back at that one also gone is Acaris sky cab is down and also down is what's up boys blowing wind refused as they go to the foy naven fence and hedgehunter and Al Capone are the two leaders followed by Gunnar Wellburn in third Lord Atterby is next and behind these is Pontal Alexander Banker on the inside and behind these is Monty's Pass who's followed by Wonder Weasel and Smarty and Justin Dett and then Southern Star as they reach the canal turn Al Capone on the inside bad mistake Alexander Bankford but survived it and they're uh, all safely over the leaders exit to wave is at the back of the field Pindari is also out of the race as they clear the next fence the leaders are uh, Hedgehunter and alongside Al Capone as we join Darren Owen approaching the 10th exit to wave pulled up before Valentine's it's Al Capone Capone and Hedgehunter, they're disputing the lead as they jump this plain fence. Puntal is just in behind them, followed by Gunnar Welburn. Then to the outside comes Lord Atterbury, further back to Monty's Pass. Alexander Banquet is against the rail, bear on board is to the outside. This is a big open ditch, the rat Hedgehunter flew the ditch by a length and a half, followed by Al Capone back in second place. Back in the field, there's a bad mistake there from Wonder Weasel, looking to the rear. A plum last at the moment is the Bunny Boiler. They're going on towards the next, and it's Hedgehunter by a couple of lengths. Al Capone brushed the top of that one, Puntal is well to the fore, Lord Atterbury further back then to Gunnar Welburn, already being driven along Alexander Banquet, then last year's winner Monty's pass, who's being followed by Baird on board, just in dead smart, his next plan Royal is still in the race, so too is Lacoubre they're back on the race course proper over to Jim McGrath Well the leaders here for Ireland is a Hedgehunter from Puntal and just behind them is El Capone who's been making a lot of the running in fourth position, Lord Atterbury the outside then the riderless horse followed by Gunnar Welburn and Alexander the banquet has been prominent throughout. Monty's past last year's winner is jumping well, and he's in about sixth or seventh position. The white sleeves and cap, a gap to bear on board, followed then by Clan Royal as they come up towards this next uh, plain fence now. And as they draw towards it now, and the rightless horse, as they go over the 13th, there is causing a little bit of problems. And it's uh, Hedge Hunter on the far side who shows the way. Hedge Hunter, the Willie Mellons train chaser, is the leader as they come to the 14th from. Puntel. Then in third is Lord Atterbury. Jumping at fourth is Al Capone. Followed by Gunnar Welburn and Alexander Banquet from Mondi's Pass. They're all over it safely. Further back is Clan Royal. They're followed by Bear on board and Takagi and Star Smarty from Just in Death. A gap in the field of Ambley House as they come to the chair. And Hedge Hunter headed over in the lead there from Puntel. Jumping it in third, Lord Atterbury. Going there is Takagi. A faller at the chair. And the, all the others got over it well as they come
come to the water. The leader is Hedge They clear of Funtel. Lord Adamry jumping in third. Al Capone in fourth. Followed by Clan Rule and Gunnar Wellburn. Then Monty's pass is handy. Alexander Bank with the inside. Four or five lengths. Then the bear on board. Followed by Smarty Amberley. Our house is next. Mantle's Prince has been pulled up. Lecou Dre is next. Uh, followed then in the field by Wonder Weasel. Then out wider ruler tells it just in debt from Arlen Scout. David's lad. Then King's Mark. Back in the field, Southern Star, followed then by the Bunny Boiler. Spot the differences next. Joss Nail is a long last, and 22 of them are still continuing as we rejoin Ian Bartlett. And they head down to fence number 17. Hedgehunter stood out there with a green cap in front. The white jacket of Puntel in second, and then comes Lord Atterby, blue cap in third. Tan Royal, Liam Cooper getting him a lot closer. He's stalking through this field into fourth nay. Then Alexander Banquet on the inside. Montes Pass and Bear on board in the yellow jacket. Behind this is Al Capone as they come to this next plane fence and then comes the Kudre and Amberley House and Alexander Banquet is a faller there as they head down towards the ditch again. Hedge Hunter leading, Pantel second. Then Clan Rawls now into third as they come over from Lord Asbury. Pantel has gone there. Modest passes over it okay. Le Coudre clears it okay. Wonder Wheels, a terrible mistake. Kings Mark Davids that at the back. The Bunny Boiler well back amongst them with Risk Accessor and Joss Naylor still on his way to it now as the leaders have cleared the other ones. And Joss Naylor has been pulled up before the 19th. We rejoin Tony O'Hare. Coming to the fence before Beatrice, Hedge Hunter leads from Clan Dan Royal in second, then Lord Atterbury in third place, pulled up as Gunnar Wellburn, a gap then to last year's winner Monty's pass, then comes Bear on board, behind him Al Capone, then Amberley House, and after Amberley House, Le Coudre, and a gap to uh, Royal at as they come to Beaters, where uh, among the fallers on the first circuit, we uh, also lost uh, Risk Accessor in Montreal as they cleared that one, and it's Hedge Hunter, the leader over Beaters, Clan Royal's... Uh, Rider, Liam Cooper, stealing a peep over his shoulder as they go over that and the coup raise out of it at Beechers. The bunny boilers a long way behind. They come to the Foynaven fence and Hedge Hunter jumps to the head of Clan Roy. Lord Adderbury close in third. About eight lengths back to Bear on board. Four Monty's pass, five Amberley House, six, twelve lengths to Al Capone. Then comes Royal Atals that we've lost just in debt at the Foynaven. Smarty still in the race, so two David's ladder at the canal turn. Hedge Hunter from Clan Roy, Lord Adderbury. Slight mistake there, clear from Monty's pass who lands fourth on the inside of Bear on board. Amberley House next clear of uh, Al Capone as they go out over Valentine's Hedge Hunter, the leader with uh, Clan Royal and Lord Atterbury clear of Monty's Pass as we rejoin Darren Owen. They've got five to jump and it's Hedge Hunter being pressed by Clan Royal to the inside. Lord Atterbury's running a big race to the outside. Clan Royal made a mistake, so did Lord Atterbury. Uh, looking behind Amberley House, Sheepskin Noseband is getting into contention. Bear on board and Monty's Pass are being driven along. Al Capone is out of the race, that one pulled up. This is the last ditch four from home. It's Hedge Hunter and Clan Royal together. And then a break of about two lengths to Lord Atterbury. They're clear of Amberley House, Monty's Pass Bear on board. And then further back to Smarty, David's Lad and Wonder Weasel. This is the third last in the national. And it's Hedge Hunter from Clan Royal. Lord Atterbury's in behind them. And then after this one, Amberley House as they go on towards the Melling Road. They're looking further back. Wonder Weasel's been pulled up. They thunder across the Melling Road. They've got two fences to jump. And it's Hedge Hunter being pressed by Clan Royal. Lord Atterbury holds every chance over. Jim McGrath. Well, three major chances in the 150th, seventh running of this Martel Cognac Grand National. Hedge Hunter for Ireland on the near side, grabbed now by Clan Royal in the colours of J.P. McManus, who takes it up now. Then in third is Lord Atterbury, running a great race for Mark Bradburn, and they've kicked away a long way in front of Amberley House is continuing on, and Monty's pass is a distant fifth. They've got two fences left to jump in the Martel Cognac Grand National. On the far side, under the whip is Clan Royal, Lord Adderie. Mark Bradburn is riding confidently in the centre. Hedge Hunters on the left as they jump the second last. They all jump it well. Clear of Amberley House. A long gap then to Monty's Pass. They've got one fence to jump in the Grand National. Clan Royal going up and down in the one spot. In the centre is Lord Adderby. Near side is Hedge Hunter. They've won the jump. Like Clan Royal stake got over that one. Hedge Hunters a faller at the last. Clan Royal in front by two or three lengths. Trying hard is now at Lord Adderby on the near side. As they race up now onto the run-in, they head towards the elbow. It's Clan Royal is veering off a straight line. He's running all over the place. Now Lord Atterbury and Amberley House on the near side. As they're on the run-in for home, it's Clan Royal is just in front. Now Amberley House is absolutely flying down the outside. It might be another one for Ginger McCain. It's Amberley House. Amberley House is going to give the Red Run Bath a win in the National. Amberley House wins the National in second class.
Crown Royal in third then Lord Atterbury. And it's a good race for fourth. Monty's pass gets fourth, then fifth then spot the difference. Ginger McKay.